Hey guys, uh, I would like to show you in this short video how to edit and prepare the image for posting on Instagram only by using uh, Camera Raw and um, Adobe Photoshop. So let's open a uh, selected image in uh, which will be opened uh, directly into Camera Raw. Good, so let me adjust the screen so you can see it well. The very first thing is to increase shadows information by shadow slider in the bottom part of the image as you can see which was very underexposed so we can see a lot of details there which is good in this particular case In the next step I will switch to camera calibration menu and start to play a bit with the saturation sliders for each color, the blue, uh, green and um, red to improve the whole color space for, for the whole image. Next uh, switch to lens correction and click both uh, remote chromatic aberration as well as uh, enabling the lens profile. Always try to zoom in, zoom out uh, to check the whole image and, and the feeling of the image. This is the rule number one for me at least. So now uh, we could um, occasionally set the split toning but uh, it is not necessary in this particular case. So uh, the, let's switch to the color setting but uh, First, I would uh, improve a little bit white shadows, uh, highlights uh, again. In this stage, I never use clarity, vibrance or saturation. So let's switch to HSL color setting and start with luminance and decreasing the blues in the luminance. You will get more details in uh, blues in the sky especially which is a uh, quite good uh, method how to do that. Uh, I'm checking for the noise but uh, in this case of a uh, quite small image for uh, Instagram it is not so critical. Uh, also play with uh, another sliders and uh, try to set the luminance for greens, uh, yellows that are very present in this image which is uh, very important. Good, moving to the saturation. Now we will mainly uh, play with the yellow and greens which are very present uh, in the foreground and then switch to hue and try to find uh, the best tone for particular colors. Also some reds are present in the foreground in this detail as you can see which is, which is also interesting. So uh, we can play also to finding the really good uh, impression in the, in the sky also with the aquas and blues here good so next stage would be to apply a local graduating filter to get uh, a little bit darker um, sky in the upper upper part of the image as you can see uh, so this is this is the let's say the range uh, of the of the impact and by exposure and and also blacks and other settings we can achieve the uh, the mood what is the best uh, in particular case uh, here let's try another very interesting effect which is on the effects uh, menu which is uh, the haze by this you can increase or decrease let's say the color um, contrast so this is quite effective way how to improve uh, overall feeling of the image okay so let's assume the these are the basic changes in camera raw and now it's the time to switch and open the image uh, within the Photoshop. Good, so the very first thing I used to apply is uh, the selective color adjustment layer 
and here I try to fine-tune the most dominant colors in this particular image which, which is uh, black of course every time then uh, of course the blues by sliding the blacks uh, within these co colors and also greens that are most dominant here trying to find some changes that are being applied and uh, if so uh, to fine-tune this kind of settings okay so let's make some dodging burning uh, just for demonstration if you alt click to new layer you have the possibility to set the blending mode and all, uh, set it to soft light and uh, also fill the layer with 50% gray this will allow you by uh, painting with the black or white uh, brush on this layer to increase darks or whites uh, uh, in the image uh, so uh, let's switch to the brush let's set the opacity and the flow to the very low values uh, to make only subtle changes and uh, okay so let's uh, enhance the size of the brush and the also the hardness which should be really very soft okay so let's uh, zoom in and let's uh, now switch to the default color set the foreground uh, to white and uh, let's uh, enhance or increase the highlights uh, on this small hill this upper part of this small hill by simply painting uh, very subtly painting uh, to this to this 50% uh, gray layer okay so a uh, big advantage of this method uh, you are working non-destructively because you are on a separate layer which is uh, set to the soft line that's the main main uh, let's say a key uh, parameter here and uh, anytime you can delete it or step backward and uh, start over from the beginning good we could also um, enhance the blacks in the mountains uh, as you can see but this is just for demonstration because if you want to be precise we should uh, make a selection first and this is uh, just uh, for your information this is the way how to increase the darks I will uh, delete the uh, changes afterwards okay so let's assume we are satisfied with the image with the I mean the corrections and uh, editing and let's uh, now crop the image for Instagram good we know we have to have a uh, one-to-one -one ratio which is a square for Instagram so let's input the values uh, which is uh, 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels at uh, 72 pixels per inch resolution now click to the image and try to find the best uh, composition for this specific uh, square cropping Good, then click OK and we got the final cropping for Instagram so next very important uh, step is sharpening for Instagram I will show uh, one of the many methods which is using unsharp mask now let's try to set the parameters yeah I just realized we have to work with pixel layer for this method so let's generate one by shortcut alt control shift E and now let's apply uh, unsharp mask again so you can see by clicking preview the changes with the uh, on the sharpness directly in the image so let's find the uh, appropriate amount of sharpening don't overdo it uh, always make very subtle changes uh, especially in sharpening yeah and that's it uh, and the final step is uh, to save the file by export export as 
as you can see there is a, there is a menu where uh, you can check all the settings uh, the ratio is okay as you can see we should switch uh, the format from PNG to JPEG of course and uh, checking the size of the image we can uh, we can adjust the size by adjusting the quality slider to find something around 600 uh, 700 something like that to set the converting to srgb is okay because this is the very common color space for web so finally let's uh, save uh, the final file to the disk to be ready to posting to instagram directly so thank you very much for watching and uh, i look forward to see you again bye bye